means here we go again we will make some update of the bitcoin since you can check my video clips uh that the that the long-term bias of this crypto is on downtrend or in the bearishness okay guys since we will check the monthly we will uh, make some recap to our monthly this will be the one oh even in the monthly there is some consolidation monthly since there's this we will check this movement here from this level a recap only huh for our uh reference uh, one two three and then consolidation since even in even different time frames this is applicable the one to three moves and the last is consolidation we will check the weekly as i've said why i consider the uh, bearishness in the long term we will consider this this level is the resistance here from this level considering this week 3 to 3 to 6.55 and also this one is the 3 to 5 to 6.51 and then the the high in the weekly high price is touching on this level here 2.1 and then back to this level forming a, a there is a same forces between the sellers and the buyers for this weekly and i will check the daily it is more uh, apparent that uh, this two level here this one here are still level of resistance the previous one two three four five six one week for the one week seven days one two three four five six seven considering that is a level of resistance and again one two three four five six one two three four five six days still on consolidation but below this previous resistance so now we uh, even a daily a strong uh, downward movement one two three again consolidation so after this level it will check what will be maybe again if in this we will form another this today is a we have a low volume on the console on the consolidation so the four hours we will check four hours we will check the time 25 p.m afternoon philippine time so still on consolidation okay we will check the control why we can consider because this is the highest price here from four last four hours here is one we will check the daily back to the daily so since this is the previous huh? this is the previous uh lower low and then the high so if we will check the four hours then the hourly okay hourly so you check the hourly you can see this this level hourly okay the hourly here okay guys still on consolidation is more apparent on this time frame okay so considering that if this is the hourly level this is the level here in consolidation but as you can see this is the grab the uh liquidity grab here all stop losses will be picked up by this will be liquidated by this market movers the institution so now you are a small time player we have to move like uh uh, like market movers so that we can uh, ride with the the uh, the trend no? or the the systematic approach of this market movers okay we will take the uh, 13 minutes back to 15 minutes okay 15 minutes in every candle we will start from the uh, opening of this evening we're in the market reset on the cd this is the okay this is guys okay the sydney one opening oh, no, we'll check the sydney. We'll check, okay so this is the sydney here so this is the okay this is the uh when the asian uh sydney market reset one two three four five, two hours so we can see this is the sydney high Sydney high here 
And then this is the Sydney Law. Okay. Sydney Law. Now, so you can observe when the uh, Asian session started, this is the uh, median line of 50% of the high and low of the uh, of Sydney. And then the price during Asian, this is the Asian low. Since this is an Asian low. Okay, guys, Asian low. Still on consolidation, consolidation, but provided that the other side of the uh, uh, Sydney already uh, liquidated here, and then again, this is the law uh, liquidating the previous yesterday's law here during the Asian session. Okay, in the Asian session, this is the law. So what we are trying to emphasize now is what will be the 24 hours movement of this crypto. Okay, since uh, it is still on consolidation, but we will try to project a line here. Uh, project a line. Okay, guys, as you can observe, all prices now. This is the yes, there is no price, but the six Asian session lowest price only not. Uh, the, uh, the movement is uh, it oh, the the remit the yesterday's law is not yet so meaning there is a sort of upward movement of this uh, current price of the Bitcoin so I think uh, this is a tip for us that uh, basically we can project line here uh, we can project this line extending this line as part of trend lines liquidity and also this one this is the trend line liquidity okay guys so we are now forming a uh, pennant type pennant type providing that prices may tend to swing ups and down until the apex of this ship maybe uh, it will happen the explosion might be a uh, prices might be happen on the uh, 3 p.m. Philippine time of the London Open or uh, yeah, it's London Open and then uh, you can uh, you can make some analysis of what will be the next is you know, upward because as I've said we are on the, in the higher time frame still in consolidation and in the lower time frame this is sort of whips of movement trying to liquidate all the Liquidity is the high time, higher and the low. So they're trying to liquidate all stop losses here and here. here. So uh, uh, we are trading on the daily. So currently the, the current price try to uh, observe if these prices will uh, follow, will align with this projected trend. Okay. So that's where we went on. Like we cannot see that it will explode or make some breakout on the middle uh midterm time frame upward or downward but for me overall we will stick on the bias which is the uh this is the bearish bias because on the weekly make a breakup this is oh this is the consolidation of the last weekly consolidation of previous weeks and again here on the month of previous two months still on consolidation and then the the bearishness will continue but consolidation you can we can still trade on this consolidation by scalping or on the hourly or every four hours bias uh, but for me i think if you are not familiar or will bears on the scalping avoid uh, counter trending counter uh, avoid trend on the counter trend because it's very it's very risky I think it's better to follow what will be the uh, long-term bias and then trade with the wind because your the trend is your friend. But if you can read, you can analyze, anticipate the movements on the four hours hourly time frame, we can still manage to trade on the scalping mode while uh, anticipating any corrections okay, on the lower time frame. So that's for all. Recap, month. 
uh, still refer to my previous videos, the overall projected projection that it is on the bearishness, but we can still trade every correction if you know how to position your trade. Okay, guys? So, you can, yeah, here in the hourly, like just like now today. Okay, so you can see, I, I project a line here. So, yeah, this one. So, I think this one here, and then up to the try to monitor there is a, some breakout you can manipulate and then whatever the nearest to uh nearest resistance and nearest support you can uh position your take profit below that trend line is the stop loss okay that's for all but for me the long-term bias we are still on the downtrend okay that's update for bitcoin thank you very much god bless